Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do solving exponential equations. I know na maraming mga senior high school ang nag-request ng gantong klaseng topic across Facebook and across YouTube. So, I have here this video para matutunan nyo kung paano nga ba talaga mag-solve ng isang exponential equation. So, we have here the principle of exponential equality for any value of a that is greater than 0, sabi dito, and your a is not equal to 1, I think gagamitin natin principle or property this time in solving exponential equations. Tandaan nyo to, ha? You have here, ax, if a raised to x is equal to a raised to y, then x is equal to y. So, simple lang naman yung mismong konsepto ng exponential equality na kung saan, if your basis, like here, your A, ay parehas, you can have, or you can equate your exponents as equals. So you have X is equal to Y as your answer. So apply natin yung property na yan. So we have here an example, number one. We have the example, 2 raised to 7X plus 3 is equal to 2 raised to 8x. As you can see, identify muna natin ha. Here, the base is 2 and your exponent is 7x plus 3. On the other side of the equation, you have here the base of 2 and the exponent is 8x. Now, going back with the property, sabi dito, if the bases are the same, you can equate or you can create an equation using your exponents. So let's do and try solving example number 1. Kung mapansin nyo, yung base natin ay parehas. Kapag parehas na siya, you can copy the exponent and equate them to create a new equation. So that will be 7x plus 3 is equal to 8x. So again, Mangyayari lamang yan kung yung inyong bases ay parehas na. And then you can solve for x. So you will do this one. Transpose natin sa kabila ito, Magiging 3 is equal to 8x minus 7x. Mag Transpose tayo. Ibig sabihin magbabagay yung sign ng 7x. And then 8x minus 7x that will give you x is equal to 3. Or simply x is equal to this is the value of x in that given exponential equation. So I hope in our first example, naiintindihan nyo agad yung ibig sabihin ng exponential equality at kung paano mag-solve nito. So that is the basic example of solving exponential equation. So let's move on to the next example. So we have here 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 9, sorry, 3 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 9 raised to 2x minus 3. So, dito, ang problem natin ngayon is that our bases are not the same. So, hindi pa agad natin pwedeng i-apply yung exponential equality or yung principle natin kanina. Pero, we can do something about it. Alam natin na ang 9 ay multiple multiples niya ang 3. So, we can represent 9 as 3 squared. Okay, di ba? Ang 3 squared naman is equal to 9. So, we can replace this as 3 squared. Ito ay equal lang kay 9. Tama? And then, you have here 2x minus 3. Copy natin left side will give you 3 raised to x plus 2. Okay? So, before natin, kung mapansin nyo ngayon, di ba? Uh, meron tayong parenthesis. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is that you need to copy this one, 3 raised to x plus 2. And then this one, you will multiply 2 and 2x plus 3. So, that will be 3 raised to 4x minus 6. Again, gumamit tayo na property or law of exponent na kung saan you will multiply 2 
using distributive property ito ay naging 2 times 2x, naging 4x, and a 2 times negative 3, that will give you negative 6. And now, as you can see, the bases are the same. So right now, we can apply the exponential equality. Wherein, if the bases are equal, you can equate the exponents. x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 6. Ayan, pwede na yan. And then, you can transpose the x variable here. And itong negative 6 natin, ilipat natin sa kabila. Okay, dandanin lang natin ha. So, we have here 4x. And transpose natin yung x kabila. It will become negative x. Okay? And then, ito naman, yung negative 6 transpose natin sa kabila. It will become positive 6 plus 2. Now, simplifying your equation, that will give you 4x minus x is equal to 3x, right? Okay, and then this is 8. So to solve for x, you need to divide it by 3. So cancel this one. Your x is equal to 8 over 3. And then, kung hindi ka masyadong familiar sa gantong formation, you can rewrite this as 8, as x is equal to 8 over 3. This is the value of x in a given exponential equation. So, we have the second equation, or second exponential equation, pero meron pa tayong kasunod. Let's move on to the next one. So, medyo kum naging complicated niya. So, we have here 8 raised to 4x minus 12 is equal to 16 raised to 5x minus 3. So, kung mapasin nyo, your bases are different. Pero, meron tayong way para mangyari yan. We can express 8 as, kasi multiples ng 8 sa kanya 16 ay 2. You can express 8 bilang 2 raised to 3. Okay? At yung 16 naman, can also be expressed as 2 raised to 4. So we can replace 8 bilang 2 raised to 3. And close mo lang sa parenthesis. This one, 16 can be replaced as 2 raised to 4. And then 5x minus 3. I multiply lang natin yung 3. And 4x minus 12, that will give you 2 raised to 12x minus 36, okay? Is equal to, copy natin yung 2, multiply natin 4 and 5x minus 3, that will give you 20x minus 12. And then as you can see, in this part, yung basis natin ay parehas na. Okay? So, we can equate the exponents to create an equation. You have 12x minus 36 is equal to 20x minus 12. And then, solve for the equation. Ito, ilipat natin sa kabila. That will give us 20 minus, uh, sorry, this 20x minus 12x. Ito naman, lipat natin sa kabila. That will become positive. So you have 12 minus 36. Yan. Isin natin sulat dito. Simplifying your equation, this is negative 24. And then this one is 8x. Okay? Then, to simplify this one, divided by 8, cancel, cancel, you have your x, and this one is negative 3. This is the value of x, or you can write it, or x is equal to negative 3. So, I hope, given these three examples, I natuto kayo kung how to solve exponential equations. Sa ating next video, I will give you more complicated equations para mas lalo natin maintindihan 
kung paano nga ba talaga mag-solve ng exponential equations. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!